Mostly it is loss which teaches us about the worth of things. Wealth is like seawater. The more we drink, the thirstier we become. And the same is true of fame. From the point of view of youth, life is an endless future. From the point of view of old age, it is a very short past. We forfeit three-fourths of ourselves in order to be like other people. Reading is thinking with someone else's head instead of one's own. The first 40 years of life give us the text. The next 30 supply the commentary on it. Each person can be completely himself only while he is alone. Ordinary people merely think how they shall spend their time. A man of talent tries to use it. He who does not like loneliness does not like freedom. It is better to find your mind in silence than in conversation. Life swings like a pendulum backward and forward between pain and boredom. Hundreds of objects that give people pleasure are boring for a big mind. Treat a work of art like a prince. Let it speak to you first. A sense of humor is the only divine quality of man. He who has lost all hope has also lost all fear. Compassion is the basis of morality. Talent hits a target no one else can hit. Genius hits a target no one else can see. Change alone is eternal, perpetual, immortal. Faith is like love. It does not let itself be forced. We seldom think of what we have, but always that of what we lack. Most of the time, people take advantage of you when saying you're better at something than they are. After your death, you will be what you were before your birth. The business of the novelist is not to relate great events, but to make small ones interesting. Don't tell your friend what your enemy shouldn't know. Men are the devils of the earth, and the animals are the tormented souls. If they gossip about you, it means that you are enough not only for yourself, but also for others. If we were not all so interested in ourselves, life would be so uninteresting that none of us would be able to endure it. The shortness of life, so often lamented, may be the best thing about it. Every parting gives a foretaste of death Every reunion, a hint of the resurrection. The safest way of not being very miserable is not to expect to be very happy. We can regard our life as a uselessly disturbing episode in the blissful repose of nothingness. Hope is the confusion of the desire for a thing with its probability. 
No rose without a thorn, but many a thorn without a rose. So the problem is not so much to see what nobody has yet seen, as to think what nobody has yet thought concerning that which everybody sees. People are like watch mechanisms that start and run without knowing why. Nine-tenths of our happiness depends on health. Great men are like eagles and build their nest on some lofty solitude. Religion is the masterpiece of the arts of animal training, for it trains people as to how they shall think. It is difficult to find happiness within oneself, but it is impossible to find it anywhere else. Man can do what he wills, but he cannot will what he wills. One should use common words to say uncommon things. The person who writes for fools is always sure of a large audience. Happiness consists in frequent repetition of pleasure. Such is the lot of great people in the world. They are only recognized when they are not alive. Almost all of our sorrows spring out of our relations with other people. We rarely think about what we have, but we always worry about what we don't have. A fool chases pleasure and finds disappointment. A sage only avoids grief. Intellect is invisible to the man who has none. If we happen to hear how half a dozen rams scornfully scold an outstanding person, then we will understand that to value the opinion of people highly will be a lot of honor for them. Fate shuffles the cards, and we play. He who writes carelessly confesses thereby at the very outset that he does not attach much importance to his own thoughts. You should be very careful not to form a very favorable opinion about a person at first acquaintance. Otherwise, in most cases, you will have to be disappointed. A vain person should know that the good opinion of others, which he so achieves, is much easier and more true to create by silence than by talkativeness. Compassion for animals is so closely related to kindness of character that it is safe to say that he who is cruel to animals cannot be a kind person. Politeness is to human nature what warmth is to wax. Sociability of people is not based on love for society, but on the fear of loneliness. If you have reason to suspect that a person is telling you a lie, look as though you believed every word he said. This will give him courage to go on. He will become vehement in his assertions and in the end betray himself. Living happily means living less unhappy. A high degree of intellect tends to make a man unsocial. To get married means to have your rights, 
and double your responsibilities. Every man takes the limits of his own field of vision for the limits of the world. Each person can be listened to, but not everyone is worth talking to. Life is a constant process of dying. The clever are not so much looking for loneliness as they avoid the fuss created by fools. Whoever violated trust once loses it forever. Health so far outweighs all other blessings of life that a truly healthy beggar is happier than a sick king.